What's up ladies and gentlemen, my hair is so annoying, so I'm going to be cutting it, I'm not going to be doing it now. There's going to be a video coming up on the screen right here, right now, so do check that one after the video for all the information on that. But basically this is going to be another episode of 5 Minutes of CSGO, so let's get straight into this, and thanks for 700 subs. Heading over to the Asian Minor, we for the second time get Dick Stacy sticker. How great for the boys of Greyhound to be able to make another major with Tyloo alongside. Tyloo with their roster that hasn't been together for that long, yet I believe that by the major they will be much stronger as well. Greyhound's run started off in Group A where they took down Energy in their first match, 16-7 on Dust2. They then went up against Australian rivals Avant where they came out winners 2-0 with their second map being a 16-0 on Nuke. In the playoffs, their game against MVP secured their minor playing spot and obviously gave them two shots to be able to qualify for the major directly. They got put up against Tyloo, which if the first map went slightly different, may have only gone to two maps to Tyloo, but a 16-14 in the first map and winning a double overtime on the last, Greyhound were able to secure their major spot. That put Tyloo down to face MVP for the last direct spot to the major. Tyloo swept through MVP 2-0 with MVP only winning 10 rounds over the whole series, putting MVP down in the minor plane. Let's get keen for those dickers. Heading over to the CIS minor, we see a very big surprise of Spirit not qualifying for the major and not even making it to the minor plane. As we do see Fours and Simon making it through with Dream Eaters going to the minor plane and actually making it through there. Fours and Simon both started off in the same group, finishing first and second respectively. Playoffs saw Fours taking down Spirit in a 2 0, while Simon were able to get past Dream Eaters in a 2 1. Fours took down Simon in the upper bracket, taking that major spot, whereas in the lower bracket, Dream Eaters took on Spirit, where they took a 2 0 upset, securing their minor plane spot and the chance to meet the major directly from the minor. It was Dream Eaters to take on Simon where Simon were able to win in a 2-0, putting Dream Eaters into the minor play-in. Now in the minor play-in we have North from EU, Int from NA, MVP from Asia and Dream Eaters from the CIS. The first matchup saw Int take on Dream Eaters where they won 2-1 taking out their major spot, while North did the same when they took down MVP in a 2-0 fashion. The lower bracket match saw MVP take on Int where it was a 2-0 win towards the Brazilian side, being the last to qualify for the major. Now this comes from the source of Esports Talk, where Jake says the speculation of Smear potentially joining back onto Big temporarily, until they sorted their roster issues, but apparently there is also a possibility of him joining another NA roster as well. At the end of the day, I think this will be an interesting move for a lot of teams, and Smear will be a great move, especially for a lot of the NA teams. It would definitely be interesting to see Smear back on Big as well, to see if that maybe fixes their issues. Maybe his mindset has changed a little bit since he left. Either way, can't go too into detail as it's really got to do with Jake's connections. The link will be in the description for his video, but for all of you Smoothie fans, I will follow this story. Now heading over to the invites, qualifications and roster changes. In the invites, we do see G2 invited to Dreamhack Masters Melmo, Cloud9 confirmed the Arctic Invitational, FaZe invited to ESL1 New York, Fury confirmed at Dreamhack Masters Melmo, NRG invited to Dreamhack Masters Melmo. Now on top of that, we obviously got the qualifications, which is mainly the, ma the, the minor qualifiers, the teams qualifying for the major, and then in interesting roster changes, Epsilon, they completely dropped their team, Endpoint announced a new roster, Hutchie announced his free agency, Elmer Puddy, in order they part. x joins BTRG, Ratification, Signs of Apex, and nothing else really there. But thanks for coming, thanks for coming back to another 5 minutes of CSGO. I mean, I tried getting this to work, it took me hours to get this just because my camera is so shit and I wouldn't pick it up. But that's my subscribers right now, I was hoping an update while I did my video, but I mean, I, gu I guess this isn't the time that I get get subscribers. But with, be with being going up, I don't know if I keep something like that in there. Maybe I might have some more information there. Obviously, once I get a better camera, that's going to allow more opportunities. But thanks for coming, guys. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, thanks.